was an accident causing a massive traffic jam. Oh, no wonder you're late. Now you are here. We should we start the meeting? I have another meeting to attend the afternoon at the client office. Sure, Shah. Let's begin. So, decide the client that we need to consider retaining or not for the following financial year in 2019. Uh, let's start first with Bintang Senior Berhad. Oh, we have been this. Uh, we have been the auditor for Bintang Senior Berhad for two consecutive financial year end. Uh, 2017 and 2018. Mm, mm, so we have issued a qualified audit report for Bintang Senior Berhai. Zati, you were auditor in charge for Bintang, were you? Yes, for both financial year and 2017 and 2018. I issued a qualified audit opinion due to limitation to access information. And what information was that? The top management was not able to provide me with the evidence of their joint venture investment with Starlight Company in the Caribbean Islands. Oh, that seems fishy. Do you do a background check on Starlight? I did, and it appears to be gained legitimate. But mm -hmm. I was a bit skeptical of Starlight. And the investment they allegedly made, I have been asking to see the agreement for two years now. But they have yet to furnish me with this evidence. I don't, I don't like the sounds of this. I think we should not retain uh, such as clients. I know, right? However, apart from this isolated case, I think Bintang financial statement <coughs> has been financially stated. What about the integrity of the company's stock management? And the company culture? Well, they were okay in the first year, I think, <coughs> but I'm still quite surprise for Bintang Senior Berhad which to nominate us the auditor for the next year even after I produce the qualified audit report. However, yes. Hi Zati. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Miss our new chef. Oh, Miss Ideal. Hi Zati. Hi. I spoke to Lin yesterday. She did not say anything about leaving the company. Oh, she had some personal issue and needed to leave immediately. I had to appoint new chef. O. Oh yeah. What do you want to discuss about? This is the second year that I'm auditing the company. I have respected to see the agreement on the joint venture investment made with the Starlight. However, as to date, I'm not receiving it. Oh, the agreement? I thought it has been explained to you earlier. I need to examine the agreement still. I couldn't even get the agreement for the legal department. Trust me, it's just a small matter. You must finish the agreement or else you will be seeing another qualified audit report this year. Ms. Zati, what are you trying to say here? Look, if you want to issue another qualified report, just go ahead with that. We won't stop you. Anyway, the company financial performance is great. I thought that the shareholders are even paying attention to your audit report. Oh yeah? What just who do you think you are? Come down. Let's discuss this amicably. Look, all I'm asking for is the agreement. Hey, Zati, turn it off. The audit fee they paid us were quite good. And in this case, it's only material and they, that is the only reason that the qualified audit opinion was issued. And like you mentioned earlier, it was an isolated case. This means that the impact of the financial statement will not be pervasive. What do you think, Shah? We should be thinking about the audit fees alone. And it's not about only the type of audit report. Mm -hmm. And we need to evaluate uh, that we could work well yeah. with the management and whether the management uh, of, the, of the company can be trusted. Through that, we need to consider our integrity and reputation as well. Yes. Indeed, we booked this audit firm from scratch and is now standing tall amongst the medium-sized audit firms. 
we have a good reputation in the industry. So, uh, 